I've just finished work and I'm on my way down to Waterville in County Kerry for fishing for the weekend and I'm stuck in this big traffic jam. Will I ever get down to Waterville? I don't believe it. Now I'm stuck in another traffic jam. I don't believe it. It's just unbelievable. Now I'm down in Waterville and I'm in another traffic jam. I've never seen so much traffic on the road in Waterville. There's that much water on the river, but I wouldn't worry about that. There's always fish up in the mountain lakes. Hello there. Hello, it's me, Vincent the Mad Fisherman. I'm back again. I'm back down to Waterville for the weekend for fishing. Thanks, man. I see ya. What a lovely sheep. Oh no, not another traffic jab. Oh, I think it's the welcoming committee and only one has turned up. This is my escort to the lake. Hello there, hello! Hello there, you're supposed to run in front of the car. That's it. Ah, it's great having the, the committee, the welcoming committee. Ah, it makes me feel absolutely delighted to be back down in the beautiful lakes in Waterville and County Kerry. Oh, I'm getting all excited now. I'm getting all excited. <laughs> I can't wait to catch a fish. Thanks, man! Thanks a lot! A last stop. A quick drink from the magic well. And my cup, it's still there. Perfect. <laughs> I like the long, the long johns on inciting the waders. It's much better than a pair of trousers. That's a little tip for you. <laughs> <laughs> like an alcoholic. I'm only after I'm in the lake and I'm going to have a whiskey. But I'm telling you, it's bitterly cold. And it's still warm me up a small bit. It's bitter, bitter. Oh. Just a small little drop in the chest. Cheers. Oh, I feel it getting warmer already. Oh, man. Time to put up my tent. Believe it or not, I've come away for weekend for fishing and I brought whiskey with me and paddy and I brought Guinness with me and I brought Heineken 
and I never thought of bringing any water. I have no water. I have no milk. I have no no liquids. Only all alcohol. So, if the worst comes to the worst, I'm dying of thirst. I can always walk back up to the magic well. So there's water there. So I'll be okay. <laughs> ah. So always bring water with your health and safety. Always have a bottle of water when you're going away for the weekend fishing. I'm going to head down to the lake for a quick cast before it gets dark. But what fly will I use? I fished these two little guys. Hopefully, they'll bring me a bit of luck. the man in charge of the boats. I know he was up here earlier today with the petrol for the boat for me. But I'm a big plonker and I'm after getting the boat with no petrol. I just can't believe it. I'm definitely losing it. It's very late in the evening so I've decided to just stay in the boat I'm in and just row around the lake quietly with my flies up behind the boat. This method never lets me down. I always catch a fish doing this. And tomorrow I will have the boat with the petrol for the day. <laughs> this fella's nearly keepable. Oops, it is. There you go, lad. Ah. I didn't catch the big fish, but I caught lots of little fish and I had lots of fun. And remember the golden rule. Always, always secure the boat. Don't try this at home because I'm a professional. <laughs> Some metal eat spirits for my little cooker. Put a small drop on. There we go. For dinner tonight, I'm having Chinese. Rice and beer. It's all about the comforts. <laughs> oh my god. I'm going into Pearl River over 30 years. 
over 30 years. And I get to see a meal every time. Uh, jumbo curry special. It has everything in it. And I'm getting it 30 years. And it's beautiful. Beautiful. Matching the hatch. Still water. River and stream. Pat O'Reilly. And this book was sent to me by one of my subscribers. A very good friend of mine now called Stevie in Scotland. <laughs> and he bought me the chair I'm sitting in. I'll be an expert by the time I finish reading this. I'll be catching loads of fish. And I need a bigger freezer. Cheers, Stevie. I got a brainwave. In here, I have bottles of ice. In the middle of the night, I'll probably wake up in my tent gasping for a drink of water. <laughs> and I can't keep drinking beer. And I can't keep drinking whiskey. You have to have a bit of water sometimes. <laughs> so, I'm going to bring that down to the tent of me. And it'll thaw out during the night. And when I wake up, I'll be able to drink some water. And maybe tomorrow I'll be able to drink it as well. It's only tap water, but it could save my life. <laughs> Cheers! <laughs> I know where it is, I'm dying of thirst. But for now, we'll finish the beer. <laughs> we'll finish the beer. <laughs> Cheers! Ah. ah, another one bites the dust. <laughs> I just remembered I super bond glued the lids on. <laughs> I got it opened. Going fast enough for me. I have to bring it into the bed with me. <laughs> I've heard of bringing a hot water bottle to bed with you, but never a freezing one. Oh, it's a disaster. video to see do I survive the night because <laughs> it's, it's touch and go see do I survive the night join me in my next video until then good luck join me in part two to see do I survive the night or do I die of thirst <laughs>